Three metaphors you can use to change your definition of failure you already know that words are powerful. I hope that now you will consider failure a valuable tool, and not a useless, frustrating and discouraging event. You can further reframe how you think about failure by using metaphors. A word or a phrase that represents one thing while talking about another is a sneaky way to unconsciously change how you think about something. Thinking of a certain problem as a crushing burden makes you associate it with an ordeal. You feel like you're too weak to get it off your shoulders and breathe freely again. How are you supposed to overcome it when merely thinking about it makes you physically shrink, replacing this metaphor with something more empowering for example thinking of a problem like a barbell that you want to lift off the ground to build muscle and get stronger will shift your attitude to a more positive one. Here are three metaphors you can use to further drive the point home that failure is necessary and useful one. Failure is like navigating a maze if you imagine the process of working on your goal as navigating a maze each failure teaches you what doesn't work. One by one, you're eliminating ineffective approaches. When you adopt this metaphor, failure won't mean themed. It will mean a new beginning. It's close to impossible to escape a maze without getting yourself into a deadened or two. Isn't it interesting that some people will pay to enter a cornfield maze and have the time of their lives trying to get out? but give up immediately when they get lost in the exact same albeit metaphorical maze when working on their goals, too. Failure is like a sculpting tool Michelangelo once said that every block of stone has a statue inside it and it is the task of the sculptor to discover it. 14 When you adapt this metaphor, each failure will fuel your curiosity to discover the statue inside the stone you're carving. The process of carving this metaphorical stone doesn't merely shape the stone, it also shapes the sculptor. Each failure improves your carving skills and as you are slowly discovering the sculpture inside the stone you're carving, you are also uncovering a better sculptor in yourself. Point 3. Failure is a filter One of my favorite metaphors for failure is that it's a filter. The longer something takes and the more patience it requires, the more people it filters out along the way. Difficult goals are often easier to reach because there's less competition if patience plays a big role in their accomplishment. The fact that some things are hard filters out those who don't have enough resolve and rewards those who do, it also blesses the latter not only with success, but also immense personal growth and increased mental resilience. When looking at failure from this perspective, you should be grateful that your goal is so difficult to achieve because it ensures that you need to go through a long, hard process that will make you a better person. There are many stories of people who won the lottery only to lose it all, if not to end up worse off than they were before their lucky day. That's what happens when you score an easy win you didn't earn you get the event, success, but you don't get the process that shapes you to become a person who actually deserves it and knows how to handle it. Compare those lucky winners with people who spend long years toiling away at their businesses, dealing with one failure after another, and pushing through. When they finally build a successful business and start earning a lot of money, they'll be infinitely less likely to lose it all. Precisely because it wasn't easy to achieve, now they'll be able to enjoy their success for decades to come. Think of it as treating the symptoms versus eliminating the root cause. An easy win such as winning the lottery or undergoing a weight loss surgery is treating the symptoms. You aren't changing as a person. Your habits stay the same and will drag you back to where you started. When you eliminate the root cause a lack of positive habits, inaction, procrastination, or a lack of self-discipline you'll be forever changed and your world will transform according to your internal changes. Each time you get angry at how difficult accomplishing your goal is, remind yourself that it's a tool through which you'll gain the right for your success. If all were given to you when you asked, you wouldn't appreciate it and wouldn't become a person who knows how to handle such a reward. In the end, you would probably squander it. Let the filter work its magic and shape you like a blacksmith forges a sword.